Hello, I'm Jo Linster and I'm the author and illustrator of the children's picture book Out and About at the Zoo. Um, today I'm going to be talking to you a bit about um, the process of creating the book. Um, now the idea for the book came about um, because my, my son asked me why I hadn't written a book for him. I figured he had a, a really good point and uh, so I decided to write a book about the first time that I took him to the zoo. Um, so that's how the book, uh, the idea came about for the book. Um, now the, t the text is a rhyming text um, because that's his favourite type of book. Um, the pictures and things as well, he also had big input on those um, and uh, he had to give his seal of approval uh, on the final project. Um, now when it comes to uh, my actual process of doing the illustrations and creating the book, um, I start off by sketching um, some rough ideas. This is the first sketch I did for the cover. Um, as you can see, it's two scale um, and it's just a simple pencil drawing. Um, now this, I, th I then upload this onto my computer. Um, I scan it in and uh, then I use the um, graphics program of Adobe Illustrator um, to work on the designs and digitalize them. Um, that then gives me the, the PDF version, um, which then gets turned into this here, which is the print version. Um, now, uh, I'm not an expert with the graphics programs and things, in fact I would have been completely lost uh, on this project if it wasn't for a graphics expert uh, friend of mine who saved the day more than once. Um, because I didn't have a clue about transparencies and embedding and things like that. Uh, now work those out. Um, basically the best way to deal with layers and things is to export um, your, your picture as a JPEG and, um, and then convert back into the PDF because that gets rid of all the layers and it gives you just the one uh, flat layer on it because otherwise um, you might find that when you uh, upload it uh, onto your publishing programs um, that uh, certain bits are missing. Uh, the first time I did it I didn't do that and my little boy ended up with no arms. So um, it's an important step uh, to take. And anyway, so that's how I did that, um, uploaded that. The book is now out on Kindle as well, um, which slightly different process um, because with the print versions um, having a PDF copy actually works better for those, um, whereas for the Kindle it's better to have a Word document to upload because uploading the PDF can create a few problems uh, on the site. So to do the Word document, basically I opened the Word document and I took the JPEG pictures and inserted them into the file, uh, which I then uploaded and that got converted um, into the Kindle format. Now I use CreateSpace so a lot of the work they did um, because they did the actual converting of the files on it. Um, if anyone has any questions about the book and um, the various different things that I've done to, uh, to go with it, then please feel free to leave a comment because I'd love to hear back from you. And um, thank you to everyone who has been supporting my talk and uh, obviously to everyone who's been buying copies of the books. Um, really, really pleased. The, the paperback version has reached number six in the stories and verse category uh, on Amazon, so I'm really, really pleased with the results. It's been getting a huge number of five-star reviews as well, so I really couldn't be happier. Um, thank you, everyone. And um, like I said, if you have any questions or anything for me, then please leave them in the comment section.